I have been thinking myself for last 14 years that I'm going to quit my job and I'm just going to teach dance. Practically, it is impossible. Amsterdam is, I want to do it only in Amsterdam because Amsterdam is my city. I do not, I do not want to compromise and go into another city, look for a space. Amsterdam is expensive. I'm not getting a space which I like. Um, how will I pay? How will I accommodate? Like, I need to keep the studio busy for at least 10 hours. How am I going to do it? You know? And then I said, no. I'm going to rent the studios, which is much more practical and less expensive for me. Somebody else is managing that. Let them do it. I still have my job, which supports me, supports me for my business. Uh, there is not much of profit which I'm making, to be frank. But, you know, the happiness what I'm getting from that, it is nothing in front of money. So, so for me, it's like, I okay, of course, if I had, I had, no job, I still have my uh, Avenkat to support me. Okay, there has to be some. But you need to plan well. You can't just get into your passion saying that I'm going to leave my job. I'm, I'm, I'm going to spend all my money into this business. No, you have to be very practical, uh, pragmatic. You need to understand what you want to do. Passion is always, passion and art doesn't bring more money unless you're selling hundreds of things, you know, like, like a painter will sell a big piece which will give him more money, but that doesn't mean that that particular particular piece is going to go forever. It will stop sometime. Uh, if I'm teaching dance, my, my regular classes might not give me more money, but you know, the workshop is giving me money, which I'm putting it into my regular classes and the business for costume, for so many other things. So don't run behind money. Start your passion. If it leads to you, to make it a business, do it. And if you feel that there's a lot of loss and you're eating your saving, then that's not your passion anymore.